what this is. This is a June bug. It's a June bug. June bug show. And this here is. This is the Maximus the guinea pig. Let me let you know everyone right now. This is Maximus the guinea pig. Do you see Maximus the guinea pig? He's quite in there. In there's Daddy and Son. And of course, Daddy and Son like to chew on the pediment. They said the frosty is just such a big old mess here. It's just such a frosty. And there we are, Auntie Courtney is getting letters for the girls. It's the girls. There's Paddington Bella, who is the cutest girl in the world. And um, she's a little fat blonde. Yes, we like fat blondes in the house here. It's very nice. And there's Ziggy Piggy Potter Pie. And there is the Stinky Poopy Chantilly Lace. And here they are. They're the guinea pigs, right? They are these guinea pigs. Guinea pigs. This is Chateau. The girls get the bottom. They get the bottom. They got a mirror to see look so pretty. And you see their mirror? They have a bit mirror. You see the mirror? That's their, that's their little house. A little mirror and chair and everything. And if you look above here, the boys get the top floor. They got very sophisticated. With a sofa, they smoke cigars on. And over there is their little study area. You know, they can read books and stuff. Do you see a few books up there? About guinea pig history is up there. You know, talking about the ancient guinea pig Roman Empire. You know, it talks about that too, you know. And it, anyway, and the boys are up here because they're hanging out right here. While Courtney gets the lettuce ready. Courtney's getting the lettuce ready. And there is the guinea pigs. There they are. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a poopies. Max, so if you notice, Maximus has got this amazing hairdo. He's amazing. They're all shiny. They're so excited. <laughs> he's, just, he's just a stinky poop again. Junebug, Junebug. Junebug, come here, Junebug. Hey, the Junebugs. Yeah, she's in the house. Yeah, she's a guinea pig. We love them. We love our guinea pigs. Beautiful. Junebug, come here. Here I am. Yeah, she's Junebug coming to see me. Because Junebug loves me. Junebug loves me. Jumba loves me. I'm his, yes, I'm his friend. He's my baby. This is my best guinea pig right here, you guys. I love him so. It's Jumba. Oh, yes. He loves me. We love it. We cut. Jumba and I cuddle. That's the thing, yes. And Jumba is his favorite thing to do. He chews upon the, chews upon the, chews upon the houses to make sure his little TVs. Yes, right, Jumba? And she's tried to chew and everything. That is what guinea pigs do. That is their job. It's a chew, chew, chew. They chew, chew, chew. And I just suggest if anybody ever wants to have a cool pet, guinea pigs are the coolest pets. I just suggest that the, the, the cutest animals, part of the cutest animals in the Hawaii universe, happens to be guinea pigs. No. No. I am the cutest. Courtney, these are guinea pigs. I got a guinea pig on my foot. No, I don't like this. Not the guinea fair. pig. Did he? The guinea pig was crawling on my foot, stiffing my feet. Oh, he's doing bug. He's saying hello to the camera. I love him. He's the best. He cut. We we actually cuddle a lot together, June bug and I do. He loves it when I do this, and they make very nice chirping sounds. Let's see if we can hear it when they're happy. June bug. You should have a little special place if you if you scratch it, you'll go. Come on, June. Come on, give me a good shirt. Come on, you're a happy guinea pig. Yes. Come on, June. Here. Where's your son? Where's your son? Where's your son? Where's your son? Hmm. Here's my dub dub. There's son. There's Max. Okay. Nice time to visit with the guinea pigs. The girls are just getting all happy. They want their letters. There's, oh, there's Ziggy and Mommy and there's Chantilly. Mm -hmm. There's the boys waiting patiently. And they're kind of they're looking at the girls. They're going, there's girls down there. Yeah, the girls are down there. That's, that's, they're pretty girls. And they start thinking about jumping down. And then all of a sudden... In a few moments, we hear a plop, and it's probably Max jumping down. I think Junebug's not as adventurous as he used to be, because he's quite between as a guinea pig here. Junebug is three years old. Yes, he is, and so is Patty and the mommy. 
and the kids are a year old. Right, Courtney? Yeah, she the guinea pig. She ate the cute coils. Yes, I love them so. Jimba has given me so much love. Peddington gave us three little healthy baby guinea pigs. She's such a good mommy. She had a bad time though. Her first pregnancy did not go well and everyone died and it was horrible and she nearly died. And then her second pregnancy, we took her to the vet and we said, uh oh, we had a big big mistake. Junebug broke down in, broke downstairs and got Paddington and she's pregnant and, and Dr. Kane, who is with St. Mark's Hospital, who's a very nice veterinarian, said, Let's see, she may be normal and he said I was quite right because I am a farm girl and I just remember um, that the second pregnancy is always much easier than the first. And so it's very nice that um, I was right and he x-rayed her and she had four little babies that were normal size in her tummy. No monster weird guinea pigs like she had. She had actually a mutant guinea pig which was basically really caused her a lot of um, hemorrhaging inside. It was too large for her. And that's apparently common, Dr. Kane told me. But when we x-ray Paddington, to our delight, she had four little normal guinea pigs in her. And Dr. Kane told me, um, just be prepared to lose all of them. Maybe you'll get lucky and have one because guinea pigs are very delicate creatures and hard to ra raise at home. So I, I watched her carefully and everything. And um, when she had her first batch of babies, she did manage to have one that was alive. And she was so sick, she was unable to nurse it. The milk didn't come down and it died because it, it was just, it got, you know, it just was weak. And, and we thought maybe, and actually a doctor at the very expensive um, hospital on the Upper East Side, had, that they had suggested that perhaps, um, now Bunny, no, 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 the Pussycats decided time to play with the guinea pigs and she's not allowed to do that, she'll get in trouble. But um, back to the topic, um, the expensive hospital doctor um, suspected that perhaps she was no longer had, you know, a, a paternal, um, a maternal instinct to her baby, so that's why the little guinea pig died. She wasn't able to take care of it. She didn't know how, but it turned out she was too sick. She felt like dying herself, and she couldn't. So on her second pregnancy, and everything went really well, except one was caught, the third guinea pig was caught and I had to help deliver it and it was actually oh oh very bad bunny just got Paddington oh is that bad oh what happened? she just bunny butt I've never just whacked Paddington and I th she didn't cry out so obviously she jumped back in time and bunny butt knew she did something really bad and she ran away but Stonewall also has been doing this too lately they've been really excited Stonewall. I know he's been a very bad kitty too lately both of them have been after guinea pigs um, but back to my story. Anyway, um, the third guinea pig that was delivered, basic. Oh, you okay, Paddington, my baby little thing? She's fine. Um, I'll get a closer look at her in a minute. I'll handle her and I'll make sure she's okay. But um, the, the, so it turns out that the third guinea pig was kind of lodged in there, and I helped deliver it, and it was stillborn. That's why it wasn't coming down. You know normally because it was it was dead and um but the three of them oh you're going to go for the promenade the promenade the guinea pig the promenade they do a little they do a little thing they like to run around a little bit um but the three guinea pigs the other three i can't believe it they're a year old now and they were completely beautiful and healthy and we got the boy maximus gladius um pork is here and he turned out to be a long-haired guinea pig and he actually has a haircut. I had to cut his fur and his fur is a very interesting color with a really cool bleach blonde mohawk it looks like but it's not it's natural. He has a blonde mohawk very cute and um, dad is was very proud and he loves having his son living with him. He has company. He didn't like living alone. He was very unhappy very depressed. So we have a little boy for dad and two little girls down there to keep mom happy and with company and that's uh oh they fussing with it they fuss in fact just like charlotte and courtney that's what sisters do that's it's just it's just animal nature 
And, um, but the guinea pigs are very happy and we have a very happy Chateau Frosty. And of course named after Frosty Junior Bug, Junior there. You know, we first had our first guinea pig with Frosty Senior who, he was a retired school guinea pig who we had for several years before he went to guinea pig heaven who still resides in our freezer because we have yet to find a proper burial space. We hope to put him on a roof garden when we have one. When we finish the roof garden, we're going to have a little guinea pig cemetery, we have decided. But you know, I love, we are guinea pig slaves. We love our guinea pigs. And we have a very happy guinea pig family. So people normally think guinea pigs only live for about two years, three years. That's, that's hamsters. But if you take very good care of guinea pigs, they can live anywhere from about five to even 12 years. It's been recorded. Now it's time to feed the guinea pigs. Courtney did a very good job last night. She did the lettuce nice and clean. We washed it very good because they're you know. They're fighting right now. Oh no. We have, oh, oh. But it's unfunny because they can't wait for their lettuce time. It's lettuce time. But we washed the lettuce very well because that's how a lot of guinea pigs. First I'm going to feed the boys. Okay. So that way the girls can. <laughs> you just have to wait. Oh. You know, um. One reason why guinea pigs get sick is because people do not wash the greens well. They can catch like rodent bacteria. Mm -hmm. They're susceptible to that and they'll like That's eat. why you need to rinse it out really well. Yeah, clean it because that's why they usually get yeah, sick and die. She won't even wash the lettuce. She's like, why do you wash the lettuce? Because we love our guinea pigs. Because we don't want them to get sicky. They're, they're happy they're getting there. They, they look at the girls down there. The girls, they start doing circus twigs because they want to send it. They, you can almost touch their tummies. They will let you touch their tummies sometimes. They're so happy. Yay. Food, food. Now you should do a little dance for me. Come on, do a trick. They're, they're pretending they're stupid because they have the camera on. People do not understand that. You have to understand when the camera they is not on. To, they know how to tumble. <laughs> and they can jump through hoops, and they can even um, juggle fire. They just won't do it for the camera. They won't do it in front of cameras because they're afraid that somebody will see them and catch them and put them in those zoos. Like the elephant and, man. Yeah, like the elephant man, and put them in freak shows. And they don't want to do no, that. No. Because they, they cried at the elephant man. They did. They, they watched it was us, and they said that was horrible. Yeah, they told us. They talked to and, yeah, she did. I'm very upset about the man. And they said, you know, you think human beings are very, very under, supposed to be humane. Guinea pigs are more humane than humans, and they have a big heart, and they very loving the guinea pigs. And they're very, we love them so. And the bad kids. And the cats kind of get jealous. The cats get jealous because they can't do. Tricks yes, like yes. And Bunny, we have decided the new name of the. We got Bunny and Clyde here. The bad kitties. One time, the um, bad Bunny kitties. Bunny got tried to do the juggling of the fire thing. Yes. She ended up burning off her tail. And this is what happened. Yeah. Part. Her tail. Oh no! That that they just. Yes, yes, yes. And she's really jealous. Yes. Jealous. She's mad at us because we love the guinea pigs and she gets very mad when we love on Stonewall too. She's a very bad, jealous pussycat. Ziggy Piggy's very unfriendly. Ziggy Piggy's been unfriendly this morning. Very unfriendly. What about Grumpy. Chantilly? She's grump. She's a grump. Because they were hungry. Look at little pet and give them some more lettuce. You can give them more than that because they do. Give them a bit more than that. They're very happy guinea pigs. They're very happy. Yes, in, about, in about, um, I'd say 10 minutes, yes. um, they're just going to be... Um, as soon as the camera's turned off, right? <laughs> they're going to be, you know, doing their big show for us. But they tell us, the deal is, we only do the show if the camera is turned but off. that's going to be afterwards. First, they're just going to lie there. And then they're just frozen. Because they'll be so fat. <laughs> they do this. The ritual is, what do they do? They eat a lot, and then what happens? And then they just, they can't move. They can't move, and they just... Happy guinea full pigs. Full of lettuce and they can't move. That's right. They just cannot move. They're just full of lettuce. They love their lettuce very much. So poopy. So poopy. So poopy. Let me pet you. I'm giving you lettuce. The guinea pig. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love them. So anyway, have a happy guinea pig day. <laughs> so have a happy guinea pig day. From June Bug and Family, Junior, Fussy Junior and Family says, Have a happy, happy guinea, guinea pig, pig day. day.